Hi and welcome to my first machine tutorial. Today we'll be talking about MIDI plugins. You might never have heard of them. There's a simple reason for that. Machine software doesn't support MIDI plugins. It's a pity. I've been waiting for years for this future, but it's yet to come. So will this tutorial end here? Of course not. I have a very nice workaround which I want to show you. There is a software called ImageLine Modular and ImageLine Modular is a very nice tool which helps you to use MIDI plugins on machine even if it's not officially supported. But first let me give you one concrete example of what you can do with MIDI plugins. I am playing finger drums in a very very cool electro project called Trebor and I wanted to play drums, bass and chords all at the same time and this is absolutely not possible with what machine software delivers to you. So let's have a look at the results before we go into the details. So first of all, we need to download the IL Minihost modular. This one is only available from archive.org. So we download it from here. The second tool which we need is called Chords. Chords is a MIDI plugin. It allows you to automatically play chords. So you press one button and the tool will automatically play a chord. So we click on download and download chords. Now we install the mini host. We double click on mini host install. We click on next. I agree. We don't need to install the 32 bit VST plugin. We click on next. We click on next. And now it's crucial to select the correct VST plugin folder, which is usually on C, program files. VST plugin, but it might be different on your computer. So you click on next and install. And that's it. So the next thing we have to do is to install chords. So we right click on the chords.zip and click on extract all. Now we copy the chords.dll, so we click on right click copy and then we go to C program files, VST plugin, and then we paste it there. Now we need to refresh the VST plugin list in machine. In order to do this, we click on File, Preferences, then we go to Plugins, and then we click on Rescan, which takes a lot of time. After the refresh process has finished, make sure that IL Minihost Modular and IL Minihost Modular FX, they are both enabled and selected. We can close it. You can imagine the IL Mini Host Modular as a kind of sequencer in a sequencer. So a machine inside a machine. So it has its own plug-in list. And what we are going to do, we're going to take the MIDI signal and then split it. So one part will be the bass and one part will be the chords plug-in. And this chords plug-in will generate chords, which is then playback by, let's say, a massive or a FM8. It doesn't matter. So let's start. Now we are going to add an instance of the IL Minihost modular. We click on plus, we select VST, then we select image line and then the IL Minihost modular. Then we double click on it and then we click on OK. The Minihost modular is kind of a machine inside a machine, so it has its own plugin list. We click on file and preferences. And then we click on Browse to tell him where you can find the plugin list. You click on this PC, on Drive C, Program Files, and then the VST plugins. And then you click on Scan, No Verify. And voila, here is the list of all plugins. Now you can close the dialog and then add all the plugins. So, first of all, you click on Add Plugin and we take a massive for the base. 
Then we click on Add Plugin and then we use the Chords plugin for the MIDI chords. So this is our MIDI plugin. And then we also need a plugin for the chords to play. So what we can use is for example an FM8. Okay, so now let's go with the wiring. So basically the MIDI arrives here and goes straight to the Massive and the Massive is going to play a bass. The Massive has two outputs, it's an audio output and it's a MIDI output. We don't need the MIDI output, we can just remove it and then it's done. So as the second we are building the chords. So first of all we wire the MIDI with the MIDI in of the chords and the MIDI out of the chords goes to the MIDI in of the FM8. And the FM8 audio out goes then back to the plug-in audio out. And that's it. You can already test it. As you can see, you already hear bass and chords. So now let's make the bass a little smoother. So we go to the massive and we select the three octave sub, which we make a little bit quieter. I think it can be even more quiet. Okay, now let's select another FM8 sound. Maybe we select, just for demonstration, this one here. Okay, that's nice. And now you can play. You can play chords and bass at the same time. Of course you can make your own chords with the chord plugin. It's very versatile, it has a lot of different settings. So in the simplest way you just click on a key and then you can here select which chords you want to play. And there's a lot of automation and stuff you might need. It's very helpful. Just play around with the tool a bit. What we want to do now, we want to use four different pads to play the chords. And of course we don't want to double all this modular plugin, but we won't have it loaded only one time. So this is what we're going to do now. Let's take this one and move it to the sound 13. And then we can give it a red color. And we do the same for sound 14 to 16. Okay, and now sound 14 should be forwarded to this one. This is very easy. You click on this one. Then you select MIDI. And then you select output here. And then you say you want to root this button to IL Mini Host Modular. You should select the channel 1 and you can transpose it. Let's transpose it two tones. And we do the same here. We select the Mini Host Modular, select channel 1 and transpose it four half tones. Now let's listen. And now we have one left. Sounds cheesier now, but it's for demonstration purposes only. So what we can do now is add bass drum, snare and hi-hat and play everything at the same time. So let's load a stupid bass drum, click on one shots then select drums, kick, let's take this one, then we select a snare, let's take this one and then a hi-hat. Okay, and now we're gonna play this one. I'm sure it sounds quite crappy, but 
It will give you the point how it works. So if you liked my little machine tutorial, please give a thumbs up. If you have any question, feel free to post a comment under the video and we'll try to answer them all. Okay, so bye bye until the next video.